What is going on guys? Nameless here bringing you a brand new video and there's been a ton of Call of Duty news over the last few days and we're going to get into all of it but I just want to say thank you guys for the support. We hit 75,000 subscribers over the weekend. It's been a fantastic run on uh, YouTube over the last few weeks and the support has been felt man so I appreciate the love that you guys have been showing me and I'm gonna continue to keep making videos whether it be on current call of duty news or just call of duty history things like that there will be more videos to come and i just want to say from the bottom of my heart thank you guys very much and the next stop is 100,000 subscribers that is the goal and i'm thinking we can possibly get there by the end of the year if we continue to grind especially at the rate that we're on you guys are awesome and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video all right guys so there was a few big news points that we have to hit i like to just get all the information and give it to you guys in a video i don't want to milk it so let's just get right into it so first and foremost frosty has retired now let's talk a little bit about frosty's career and we'll talk about his retirement and what i think led to that frosty is a very achieved player i mean in halo he has won tons of championships he's always been a contender to win an event whether it be second he's always there in that championship match he comes over to call of duty where he has to earn his way to the top i mean this guy was grinding on teams like e6 where he was not winning tournaments whatsoever or even coming close to sniffing a championship finally finds himself on a mutineer squad where he feels confident and comfortable to win events and he wins three of those things in the online format you know it's online it's not land so there is a little bit of an asterisk there but he still gets three championships a lot of players cannot do that and have not done that in call of duty history so i gotta say big props to frosty and his organic growth from being pretty much an amateur player on a struggling pro team and then on a dominating pro team where he him and his team pretty much reigned the entire month of June this year. So I just want to say congrats to Frosty. And I was excited for where his career was going to develop, having had all of that championship experience and sort of the aspects of what it takes to be a consistent winner, uh, finally finding his way in Call of Duty. Uh, but unfortunately, after this year in Modern Warfare, he has retired. Now, his announcement of retirement was basically announced with Sentinels uh, saying that the team is reborn and Frosty is back to Halo. So it was sort of a double announcement that he was done with COD and he had a new team in Halo. Uh, on September 9th, he actually tweeted that he was looking for a team, that he was an unrestricted free agent and he was looking for a team for Cold War. So he clearly wanted to give it a shot. I was thinking, what happened here? Why did Frosty not stay in Call of Duty? As Call of Duty has been on the rise, Halo still a little bit of a question mark as to what's going to happen over the next few years with it. And uh, he clearly wanted to still compete in Call of Duty. So the only thing that I could guess is that basically he felt disrespected by the pro Call of Duty community and that his name wasn't getting the respect that he deserved and he wasn't getting any team offers. And he obviously probably felt a little bit disrespected by his actual team in the Mutineers and not wanting him as their fourth player because right now they do have Awakening, Skies, and Pharaoh signed. It's going to 4v4. And if you think about it in play styles, Frosty is a good fit for the fourth player on that team. But in his eyes, he feels like Florida has disrespected him. And he even tweeted them uh, basically saying, thank you guys for everything you've done, but I do not fuck with you. That was his words, not mine. Uh, you can see the tweet on your screen right now. So we don't exactly know the details there, but I reached out to Frosty um, for a statement regarding uh, what happened with uh, with the Mutineers, but he wouldn't really say. Uh, basically, he told me was going to switch back to Halo originally, but then when it got delayed, I wanted to try to play the whole next year of the CDL, but I got absolutely hoed out of my spot. Uh, appreciate it though, brother. So, I mean, something happened there. We're not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure, but I can only assume that he probably was told he was going to be on the team. And then the team said, no, 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 we're gonna look for somebody else. And it's so weird because Mutineers don't have a fourth yet. They have not announced their team yet. They have a fantastic core three and Frosty seems to be a great fit there. Their chemistry was there. They clearly were winning tournaments, but now they don't have a fourth. And if they end up having havoc on their team, they're gonna have the same issue that they had this year. 
So it's a bit weird to me that he's not going to continue to be on this roster. But either way, neither here nor there. Congrats to Frosty on all the success that he's reached in console FPS. I hope he's fantastic once again in Halo and more power to him. And thank you for what you've done here over the last two years playing COD. Now, the next thing that we need to talk about is the Optic Gaming situation. Now, they have not announced their roster yet, and we've been waiting eagerly to see what the team is going to be. Now, we know that Optic Gaming, a while back in Roster Mania, they announced that their team was was retaining Draza, Slasher, and Kenny, a fantastic core three. You have Kenny and Slasher, who have won multiple championships together and championships outside of teaming with each other as well. And then you look at Draza, the young and up and coming talent that is really molding the league right now. That is what the wave is for all these teams, is picking up that young and up and coming player who's hungry for a win, because those players have been finding a ton of success over the last two years. So Draza is a very valuable player and Optic Gaming decided to re-sign him. Whether it be starting or bench, I think he is a major asset to the team. And then yesterday they announced that they have re-signed TJ Halley, which I think is a big W for them. They were working to get it done and they got it done. So now they at least at the bare minimum have a fantastic starting roster of Draza, Kenny, Slasher, and TJ. Now I think that this roster has a ton of upside. I know that the players seem a little bit frustrated. They're there's a clip of Slasher basically saying that he's frustrated that he can't get his team done and that a lot of the players that he wanted are getting picked up because of this buyout that's happening. So let's take a look at that clip. No clue, bro. I just hope whatever is happening can hurry up so I can, you know, construct the team because I'm four weeks late in roster mania. Haven't been able to uh, build a team. All right, I'm back. Which is actually just fucking wonderful, bro. A lot of my top picks are gone now because it's four weeks late, but you know. All right, guys, so you can see a lot of frustration on Slasher's face when he's talking about uh, building a roster for the next year. And a lot of players are off the market. I mean, when you look at the player pool for players that realistically can fit into the system that Slasher wants, I mean, it's like Temp, Slacked. Uh, there's not many players. I mean, you look at Scraps and Weskin, like, would they fit on that team? Probably not. So uh temp is realistically the only one i can see going to this team seeing as he's a superstar player without a team he has experience with slasher kenny and tj i expect him to go to this roster but the question is is temp a better fit than draza I don't exactly know because I can see a personality issue going on with the team if Temp is on the roster. I know that they're really, really good friends outside of the game. Temp, Kenny, TJ, and Slasher are all really good friends outside of the game, and that can spell problems in-game. A lot of the teams that are having a ton of success, they aren't best friends outside of the game because when you get that comfortable practice cannot seem like practice anymore and it won't seem like work and that can stop you from getting better now there have been anomalies in the past where friendship allows a team to perform a lot better but in the history of these players careers it has not worked well i mean you look back when dashi and tj were like best friends it caused a lot of problems with crim six you look back to temp and slasher's team and in envy in world war ii they were supposed to be fantastic but they had a lot of issues so I don't know in this case if it's the best route for them to go, but either way, even if they do get temp, they still have Draza on their bench. So they have some wiggle room to make a solid roster. And I like the core makeup of TJ, Slasher, and Kenny. So either way, I think Optic comes out with a W here. If they do end up signing temp, I think that they will be able to make it work. But there definitely is an asterisk there and a worry for me uh, on the personality side of things. Because I can definitely see it clashing uh, if they don't start out really, really hot when the new game drops. But anyways, guys, that's not even the confirmed roster. That is just a rumor. There's some other rumor teams here, but I've decided that I'm going to make more videos on it because this video is getting a little bit long now, and I don't want to just throw a ton of information at you guys. But anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Please leave a like and comment if you enjoyed it and comment what you guys want to see next. There's more Call of Duty news on the way, and thank you guys so much for watching.